wilds in Wyoming with his family and he's become a kind of iconic horse. So he has this curly hair on him that makes him stand out. She definitely seemed to be the one that he was the most attached to and spent the most amount of time with. Management, which is a government agency, they clear public lands of wild horses continually. We now have 50,000 wild horses standing in government holding pens being paid for by taxpayers. You can see Goliath trying to keep between the helicopter, which the BLM used to drive the horses. He was trying to keep his family safe from them. Many of them just spend their life in a dirt corral, never running again, never being free again, just kind of like eating food and standing there. And it, it's not a great life. So all the pieces just fell into place and we managed to win Goliath just due to hundreds of people standing up for him and donating everything from $1 to $1,000 to be able to bring him home. At the same time, the lady who had adopted Red Lady contacted us and, and also wanted to reunite them. So it was an amazing thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I hope someone's stopping this. I got it. We all I got do. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> when he saw her and he took off towards her, and she saw him, there was no doubt that there was a love there and a bond between them that was unmistakable. When she actually arrived with us, she didn't look pregnant I and mean, it could easily have been a little hay belly. Within a week of Goliath arriving, she just popped. There was no doubt she was about to have a baby. So it was beautiful to see that we managed to bring them back together. And inseparable they they're always together and next to each other and, and Goliath's incredibly tolerant of Bovi and it's it's really a beautiful family. There's Red Lady in Goliath's wall. He's beautiful. He's a little boy. Bodhi's just like the most mischievous little thing and he goes between his mom and his dad and just is a super happy little baby like he should be. At some point we'll turn them out onto the five thousand acres of the upper ranch and they'll just live free, you know, and probably stay as far away from us as possible, which is fine with us too. There are 2,000 other horses that were rounded up that day that are still standing in dirt pens, you know, without their families. And it's something that we need to change. The love and affection people have for these horses is gonna help so many other horses.